Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Jump Light Odyssey. I realized something as I got ready to start this episode, is that we're in a black hole. Nightmare scenario for me. We have 22 minutes for them to catch us. Not great, but I think what that means, it's much more important to get out of here as soon as we possibly can. So I'm going to immediately jump here. I think, or as soon as we build up enough power to jump there. I still want to build this cartridge that I queued up last time. Because it, I think it'll be good to be able to jump. I mean, we need to make bigger jumps towards the end of the, the, the run here. So we're going to still let that one go. I'm not going to send any of my shuttles out into the black hole. I believe that's incredibly dangerous for everyone. So we will not do that. Oh good, they're building the power switch, which means we should be able to delete this power switch, shift the doors around here, and then we can finally get around to building our our much needed fifth nuclear reactor here. Alright, it's up and running. We will build, delete you, and then expand room. Oh, right, door. I was like, what do you mean I need access to the... to the turbo lift? I should... maybe I should just go ahead and expand the whole dang room. Because, like, eventually we'll probably need this anyway. Takes 39 metal? That's fine. Proceed. Alright, we are at negative 11 plastic. Is there a place I could borrow plastic from for a bit? Until we we get the necessary resources. I'm considering... How much are you? You're only two plastic. That's not great. I regret pivoting to the auto beds. <laughs> I think, for now, since we're doing okay medically, I want to go ahead and delete... Delete, delete... deconstruct those bad boys because uh, even though we're slowly bleeding power getting the power back on is more important than than having extra beds that we're not using right now something that we could also do and I've done this before and forgotten about it but we can go shit we can go ahead and shut these guys off because they're draining power and and they're not being used So why don't we go ahead and, yeah, just shut all this stuff off. Not really necessary right now. We still want to get around to building that... That other nuclear reactor, because we're, like, on the razor's edge of being able to generate the right amount of power. So we, we want to get to the point where we have ample extra power for myriad things upon the ship. Like, more calibrators or whatever. Cartridges, I guess, is what it would be. Cartridge is waiting on plastic. I feel like everything is going to be waiting on plastic <laughs> while I'm building up the necessary jump light to be able to go very far. We've got six, six jump light. I feel like jumping into the black hole is kind of the, the, the death spiral for a run, which is why it's really important to have these radar things. I think what happened was I was zoomed all the way out and I didn't look where I was jumping. So, my bad. <laughs> but what we can do is, is we can build up enough jump light to jump here and then uh, hopefully get that cartridge finished so that we'll, when we're generating normal jump light, we can jump ahead of the, the zoo tokens and we'll be okay. People are starving. We have l plenty of produce, so we should kick on the prioritization of our kitchens. Usually that means your kitchens aren't quite keeping up with things for whatever reason. And it's usually that people aren't prioritizing uh, building food appropriately. So if you hit prioritize on uh, starving, or when you have some starving people, if you hit prioritize on your kitchen and you have 
ample produce, that should solve the problem. So, these people are like hanging out in the the medical bay for some reason. I'm not sure why. We're doing okay here. You need to be like on high priority because we're actually like low on plastic. All right, the room seems to be filled out pretty well. Just building out the rest of the tiles here. The nuclear reactor has not had anything hauled to it. Although it seems like it's kind of broke. Hold on. Because, like, it, I couldn't prioritize hauling for it, which usually means it's not being queued appropriately. So let's just delete it. And then reinstance the nuclear reactor here. Maybe we'll put the nuclear reactor over here. Kind of spread the room out. I love symmetry, so. There we go. I know we can't afford it. I know this is the problem. Maybe we can't issue the order because the room's not done yet. They haven't built out the, the floor? I'm not sure. Perhaps. This guy still seems to be functioning okay. Yep. Who knows? We are back on positive power though, so it's not super urgent to get this nuclear reactor off the ground right away, but... Eventually. However, the engine room... Ha ha! Our jump light cartridge has been uh, correctly queued, so that's good. I think the only thing pending left then is to get that that nuclear reactor rolling. Our water's back up to positive. Plus 42 in the last hour. Seems like we can go turn our coffee back on. Get our people amped again. Activate. That'll be good. Now let's make sure our produce isn't busted. I know I've been worried about that before, but it seems like it's good. We just need people to come down and haul it away. Jump light is going okay. We're about a quarter of the way there. How long has it taken to do so? Yikes. It's taken us about five minutes to get a quarter of the way. So that means we should have an just enough time um, to be able to, to generate the jump light to jump. Problem being is we're doing a lateral jump rather than a forward progress jump. And uh, that means the Zootopians, like, it's not giving us as much as we could if we were jumping to here. But this one is a much further jump away. Because this one's 13, and this one's beyond 60. Uh, 47, I should say, which is 13 closer than 60. And that one would probably be like 65, maybe even 70. Yeah, being in the being in the black hole is, is a nightmare. Uh, it slows you way, 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 way down. So if you can avoid the black hole at all costs... Uh, do. <laughs> that is my, 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 uh, hint to you. Don't jump into the black hole if you can ever, ever help it. Right, still building plastic over here. Good job. Produce is actually de decreasing for, like, the first time ever in a long time. Maybe this room is busted. Let's do, let's do the cycle on it. Just in case. Planting crop. Does that mean you're going up to up to here? Who knows? All y'all get to work. You're just sitting around. We have we have plants to harvest. We have composites to make. Or plastics to make. We're actually low on composites again for the first time in a while as well. I'm just really afraid to send any shuttles out there into the into the black hole nightmare. All right, they're building up the floor. Zip zoop, good job. All right, and then this guy should start getting queued soon. Can priori prioritize hauling that stuff. We'll have enough plastic. We're, we've hit net zero, which is good. We've got composites and metals should be good there. We have an entire wing of our, our medical facility that is just empty, <laughs> except for a database and a morgue. 
these guys are looking good. Like, you guys should definitely, like, fix these two. I guess while we're just waiting around, we should probably just delete and rebuild them. Because if they're just sitting there, and we're not going to send them out anyway while we're waiting for jump light to calibrate, you know, that makes sense to me. This one, like, it says it requires a scientist. Does it actually, though? I'm not sure. I see there's somebody actually working at this one for the first time ever. I'm kind of surprised. Hey, you, Val, like, do something. Go work on the, uh, the science console, huh? We could use some help. We'll be fine. Oh, there's all the produce. Maybe I did need to cycle the power on it. Starving's okay. I would love to see somebody, like, somebody's actually using the sauna. That's great. I would love it if somebody actually used the hot tub. Like, maybe they are, and I'm just not noticing them. But man, oh man, every time I look at it, I'm like, is this just a big old waste of resources? One of these days, there's going to be a pool party, and it'll be magnificent. All right, let's speed up some time here. We're just kind of waiting around for things. Nuclear reactor is being constructed. Awesome, awesome. Have you guys been deconstructed yet? I cannot. Yep, there you go. And indeed. So let's go ahead and create new room. Are you crazy? Build shuttle. Well, let's just do normal shuttles. I am a fan of the normal shuttle. Go ahead and make those priority power is going back up again speeding forward through time we have 11 minutes and counting and we're at 30 jump light all right 31 jump light 32 jump light actually it's going up pretty fast zootopins are closing in we should probably have enough by the time we hit like five or four minutes or so i think by the time we get like the countdown uh, for for the Zootopins to arrive, we should be able to jump. Everybody's zipping around, doing their duties. We're actually getting some positive stuff. All oh, the water's out of the hot tub! What the heck? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Not my hot tub! Are you broken? Do I have to cycle the power on this room too? I have no idea, man. The water's gone from my hot tub. It's devastating. I like how I've never paid attention to Princess Euphora's room. She's got all this cool stuff. The Regent's Chair. The Promises. I know that's like an update coming to the game. But like, this is a part of the shuttle, or the ship, that I've never looked at. Because <laughs> I don't think you can do anything with it. I don't even know if I've ever seen Princess Euphora actually sleep there. Nope. I don't know where she is right now. There goes Ham. He's doing great, now that he's actually cleaned and whatnot. Let's inspire him with our princess. Jump lights at 40. We should get ready to jump soon. They will let us know, so we shouldn't be too concerned about it. But, um... Why don't we go ahead and build one of those medical beds? I think we have enough resources, correct? Yes, 852. I think we'll do three... And then we'll consider, what's the plan for the diagnostic scanner? That's a 642, and then that also takes the this guy, which is a 432. So it's all said and done, that's 1074, which would be all of our composites. And uh, by the time we get plastics over there, that'll be the last of them too. So let's go ahead. Oh, did we already confirm you? We must have. All right, our nuclear reactor is up and running. Very good. We could consider starting to chunk out composites again, and then we could upgrade our medical bay. The other thing that we talked about doing was upgrading the security center to be able to upgrade our guns long term. But that's also going to be a lot of a lot of resources. Like if we look at this, that that would take the secure server, which is eight two four, 
10 2 4, which is 18 4 8, which is a lot. And then each gun individually needs a targeting computer. And a targeting computer is 5 4 4. So if you wanted that for all eight guns, that's 40 metal, which the, the metal's not really the problem. That's 32 plastic, 32 composite, plus the stuff to get it set up. That's a lot of resources. So until unless we can get some shuttles rolling, maybe I should have spent the time to go get that shuttle uh, out and back before we jumped into the, to the black hole area. Oops. <laughs> Lesson learned. Um, but I think we'll focus on the med bay for now. Yeah, and then we'll see. We do have two fighters. We have a heavy fighter and a normal fighter. So that should give us an edge. And we have eight guns, comparatively. Oh, what we could do that I talked about like forever ago and then I never actually did, was we could build an ammo manufacturing machine. The, uh, the 1862? And I think we can just plop that, like, right here in the middle of the room. Like, I know it's weird. But I think it would work. Like, I think we could just stick it here. Yep, the Zootopans are coming. The British are coming. We have two more jump light to calibrate. I think I want to try it. Let's chunk it right there in the middle of the room. And that way we have the ability to start building ammunition if we need to. As soon as we're, we get that last jump light, we're out of here. Let's get up to the bridge in preparation for that. All right, we might be at three minutes and counting. The black hole looks cool, though. Are you guys not working on the jump light? If you guys aren't, I'm going to lose it. No, you're working. All right, now we're ready to jump. We got two at the same time for some reason. All right. We had three minutes and 30 seconds. Away! See you later, black hole. It was not nice seeing you. Launch. All right. That was rough. But let's see how much time we gained. It's probably not a lot. Six minutes. We gained about four minutes with that jump. The dangerous thing here is we don't know what we're jumping towards. I think it's really important to get the other, the extra radar range. We're going to target this one for now. But... I think instead of building this thing like I wanted to because it's an it's not a necessary thing if we can stay ahead of them I'm going to delete you I'm going to turn the composite cruncher back on prioritize you and prioritize hauling once we get the re the necessary composites back up and running, great. But we really, really, really want to build another radar thing so we can avoid jumping into another black hole. I know we don't have enough composites right now. The other thing that we could do is send out a crew to try and do a really fast salvage mission. And I don't... We don't have enough time to be able to... Hmm. I think we have to do it as fast as we can. So I have an idea. Let's do... Lead foot... On... A... A survey mission. And send... With... Some marines along to kind of counteract the the uh, the negative effect of lead foot. So now it's only a minus 5% chance to fail. 
So go ahead and launch. They're going to do it 25% faster. And then as soon as they're out and back, we're going to pay attention very closely to that one. And we're immediately... We're not going to send our heavy shuttle. We're going to send just our normal shuttle. And so we should actually queue up this crew ahead of time with the right people. We want to send Galena. She's pretty good. We want to send Vin if he's off duty. Or on duty, I should say. Because uh, that's important. Or I guess we could send Tora. She's also pretty good. Even though she has the minus speed. I think it's worthwhile to have that extra time. And if we do this right, I think this shuttle going fast enough will uh, will give us enough time to get people out there and back from the survey, which would give us enough to build some things that we need to build, I think. We're getting into the dangerous territory again, but there they go. All three of them have assembled appropriately, unlike last time. Alright, and we're going to pull Galena off this shuttle. I think when you have people assigned to multiple shuttles, they they can kind of get bugged where they don't know where to go. So I'm going to make sure we're not accidentally double booking people. Get them off of the shuttle and make sure they're on this shuttle appropriately. Let's check this one. That one doesn't have a crew. No crew for this one as well. So we should be good to go there. That one's going to be really important. I just realized we have a med bay bed that's in process as well. I'm going to delete you. Because you're absorbing two composites that need to be... Need to be shuffled to that radar... Radar detector instead. So, no, med bay, you're off, off the hook. Same thing with the ammo generator until we can actually start chunking out some more composites. That everything depends on that radar. And this one is really necessary too. The Zootopins are very close, but we are generating about 10 per minute, I would say. Which is great, because we had about 6 minutes of time, and we need to jump 55. The other thing that we could do is if, you know, depending on how the radar goes, we could jump here... And uh, then we're actually in, in a pretty decent stretch, I think, at least until we get into edge space, where the jumps get really big again. But here, at least, um, once we get past this jump, the, the, the stars are a lot closer together, so we might be able to build up a lead again. Please build this as fast as you humanly can. We're one composite short. Where... Who, who's got the composite hit under their bunk bed? I'll court-martial you. I will, I, I will do it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, God. There we go. Had a bit of a hiccup there. Alright. He's, he's active. He's crunching the composites. Finally. It's been probably like four or five episodes since we had that thing firing on all cylinders, but... You know, we finally ate through our backlog of composites. Probably a little unwisely in some of the things that we were building here. Like compressor and pump and sauna and hot tub and <laughs> lord knows what else we have going on in this building. Are you busted? Let's, let's do our little cycle power trick. Shut off the water power. Fire it back up. Alright, water... Well, maybe the hot tub's just broken. I have no idea. We have 23 jump light. Oh, we were supposed to pay attention to the hangar. They are landing already. My bad. Uh, send you guys out. You do have the, the opportunity for the salvage. Go. This is going to be very close. I should have been paying way better attention to that. That is... That, it, that was reckless of me. I should have had you out like maybe a minute ago or, or more. Alright, where's this crew? There's one. 
Where are your buddies? Your buddies should have been here hours ago. If they're not here soon, I'm gonna have to cancel your mission on you. Galena? Where's your team? Oh god, I don't know if- I don't think we can send them. Because I don't even know- I don't know- <laughs> I don't know where they are! Uh, alright, you guys- you had your chance. You've lost a full minute and whatnot. Alright, mission cancelled. Alas. That's too bad. The other crew did just fine, though. I think we'll keep that, like, in our back pocket, though, after our next jump. Is we'll we'll try that jump, and then maybe as soon as we land, we'll try. Oh, you're a nebula! Thank God. Okay, diffuse nebula it is. Target for jump. We're gonna go there, and that should help as well with the pursuit. Um, we should be able to jump into the nebula and maybe buy us enough time to send somebody out. Maybe get some resources and then start building up for some bigger jumps here. But I think I think we're okay. We still have two minutes. We have 15 jump, 16-ish jump light to generate. So I think we are gonna have to deal with the Zootopians for a little bit, but it should be okay. I should double check to make sure these things are fully staffed. They are good. What do you mean requires an operator? You're staring at it. Are you working? Are you all busted? Maybe that's just a, a UI glitch. Cause they're all staring at it. I'm afraid, like, we're, and we're clearly generating jump light. We need 12 more to be able to jump away though. Rami, you're the combat marshal. All right. Well, we're going to have to deal with the, the Zootopians here for a little bit. So in order to deal with them, let's make sure our guns are all on. Fire up the power here. That's why we built that extra nuclear power plant. Imagine me derping around building a lot of uh, unnecessary systems has come back to haunt me. <laughs> All right. All right. Zootopians imminent. We have eight jump light. All right. I don't think we will send out our shuttles because we, we're generating jump light pretty rapidly. It's like it comes in chunks, and I think it's because we're getting four at a time as these things build up. We can't see how it's building up, unfortunately, because the UI is kind of busted. Um, but we're, yeah, we just got four in a row. All right, red red alert. Nope, not yellow alert. What the heck is, he, what is yellow alert? All, everybody is on duty. Okay, no, red alert it is. Everybody, get ready. They are here. But we should be able to jump, like, as soon as, possible here which will be great okay they've come and they've already launched a shuttle you guys better be on the on the dang guns jump light is ready here it is go Initiate jump light. and we're out of here see you later suckers jump light in five four, nobody's even on the turrets I should have probably had them on red alert like a long time ago. See you never. Okay, now we have a chance. We've we've got a, some breathing room. The the printer room is so loud. All right, has slowed its advance. Thank goodness. Let's take a pause. We're gonna look and see what we got. 722. We got even more breathing room. Awesome. But. The dangerous thing about the nebula, I just realized, 
is we don't know where we're jumping. So, I guess based on total happenstance, I, I don't think I had, I don't remember what this one was. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I knew at one point or what, but we're going to have to guess in the start of the next episode where we should go whether it's here they're roughly equivalent so i'm i'm leaning towards this jumping here because uh that's the furthest away from the nebu or from the from the enemy <laughs> so i think we're gonna target here it's uh it's 53 away so i think that's doable and then we'll send out all of our shuttles and uh we'll we'll make the best run of it we can all right if you did like the video click the like button it helps out a lot if you want to see more videos like jump light odyssey or more jump light odyssey subscribe to the channel that also helps me out a lot but until next time everybody i hope you have a good one and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye everybody